this is a, another indica- indicator of, of what the Obama administration is doing. They they are targeting the rich generally. They're targeting the successful, the the people who make America work generally. Now they're even targeting them specifically. Well, listen, I, I think that uh, it is amazing. Uh, we're putting together for my newsletter, which comes out every week, um, a, a multiple choice question, which says, if you had 26 armed federal agents, would you, A, help them control the border, B, go after drug dealers, C, go after terrorists, or D, uh, track down an American guitar company over in Danger Wood, and you only get to go to work for the Obama administration if you pick D? Well, and even worse, it's it's not just do you go go after the drug cartel leaders, do you give them guns and then not go after them? So it's even worse exactly than, right. than what you that's, laid that's out. That's exactly right. <laughs> it's a, the Fast and Furious thing. I, I think Gibson Guitar is actually eventually going to pass Fast and Furious as a major example of what's wrong with the Obama administration. Because it is, first of all, I'm, I'm told that he has a letter in which um, somebody in the administration suggested to him, that if only he were manufacturing overseas, he wouldn't have this problem. Now, if that's true, that letter is so utterly irrational, given the president's speech the other night and 9.1% unemployment, that it, it really gives you a sense of how destructive the bureaucrats are under Obama. But in addition, the very spectacle, the, the idea that you'd have armed agents at a guitar factory over wood, is a government that has lost its mind. And uh, what I'm trying to do is get the House and Senate to hold hearings, produce every single decision document, produce the, the, the schedule of every single meeting, figure out who made these decisions, and get them fired. Uh, there's no reason that we should tolerate bureaucrats who come into a totally peaceful environment, close it down, force the workers to go home, tell the tourists it's closed, um, this was a profoundly destructive act that if they can do it to Gibson Guitar, they can do it to anybody else. So I, I think it's a, this is a very, this may become one of the most important symbolic events in the history of the Obama administration.